Hey, how's it going? I'm Marisa Cunningham, your Tampa Bay Realtor, and today I wanted to discuss what happens if your home does not appraise. Now, I have a home buyer's guide, and in the guide, the appraisal is actually step seven. Now, my home buyer's guide consists of 11 steps, and it describes the whole process of starting with getting a pre-approval and meeting a realtor and all it takes you through the process to how to get to the closing table so the home appraisal is where the lender is scheduling a home inspector not home an appraiser <laughs> excuse me scheduling an appraiser to come to the home and see what the value is of the home now they're going to use um, comparables other homes that are very similar to your subject home and that will be in square footage um, rooms bathrooms the age of the home and it definitely has to be within the vicinity of the home um, also it would have to be have recent um, activity so it was either bought or sold so that way you have data to compare it to now the lender wants to get the idea of how much the home is valued at. And a, a lender does not want to issue you a mortgage if the value of the home is less than what your purchase price or your sale price is. So for example, you have your house on the market for $200,000. You're under contract with a buyer if you are a seller or vice versa for the buyer. And the appraisal comes in and it says the house is worth one eighty, dollars So it's $20,000 um, um, below appraisal, um, your list price. So in this case, the buyer and the seller has to agree to either number one, the seller drops the price down to one eighty. dollars or they go through negotiations and try to meet somewhere halfway. Now, if it is anywhere over one in the 180 to 200 range, then and the seller does not want to meet the appraised price, then the buyer has to put down additional down payment so that you could get down to the appraised value. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, drop a comment down below and I'll explain it to you even further. But um, they just want to make sure that the mortgage is going to cover the value of the home. Um, another process that I always encourage my clients for me to submit for them is called an appraisal contingency. Now, when you have an appraisal contingency, in the beginning, when you first go under contract of the home, um, especially on the buyer side, um, you have to put down a deposit. It's usually 1% of the purchase price. This deposit or escrow goes to the title company and they hold it in an, in a, an account. Now, this money is only refundable in certain situations. The first one is during the inspection period and um, where you can change your mind and get your money back or if it doesn't pass inspections. I also um, encourage my clients to um, submit an appraisal contingency and this is where if the home doesn't appraise and the buyer and the seller cannot agree on a specific price, then the buyer can get their deposit back, their escrow deposit back without any fees and um, it really makes the process a lot easier. So I hope that um, explains what it means to get your home appraised, and if it doesn't appraise, what are some of the steps that you could take to make sure that you protect your best interests? It, again, if you have any questions, um, leave your comments below. And if you are going through the home buying process and you're not sure what to expect, I'm going to leave a link down below in the comments where you can get my home buyer's guide and it'll take you step by step of what to expect when you're shopping for your next home. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great one.